What You Saying, guys. Welcome to episode six of the What You Saying podcast. I'm here again with my main boys, James and Jack. We're trying something a little different this week. We've got four guests instead of six, as per your request. So without any further ado, what are you saying, James? Yo. Yo. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm looking I'm looking forward to this one because, you know, it's episode five. We've, six. Uh, we've done, we've, it's it is episode five. Six. You're wrong, Trent, by the it's way. Five. It's five. <laughs> should, we, should we start again? <laughs> no, 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 let's no, keep no. it going. This is good. I like it. <laughs> um... And uh, and yeah, you know, trying something different for the first time since since all these episodes, two mm-hmm. less guests, but um, I'm looking forward to the conversations we have. So yeah, this is exciting. Yeah, so uh, we've got the first recurring guest this episode. So yeah, who you got in your team, James? In fact, um, you don't know who you got in your team. I don't so I'm going to tell you who you got in your team. You got Dan in your team. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dan. Uh, uh, let me see if I can pull up my notes here. What did I say about you last time? <laughs> <laughs> I think you said uh, he was your uh, 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 man da- Dan, or something like that. Dan, is my number one fan. Nice. What are you saying, Dan? Uh, what are you saying, Dan? I'm doing good, and you are correct. I am indeed your number one fan. Nice. Mm. Um, not much more to were. it than that. Mm. Let's hope Sick. this goes well. Cool. Oh, it will. It will. Well, that's enough of that. So uh, what are you saying, Jack? So, how's it going, everyone? Um, it's nice to be in a new format, but you know, a bit, bit more room to think in here, don't you mm, think? Of course. Um, so, uh, I've got Sam back um, from the first episode. Don't know if you remembered him, but uh, we need to just get on with this because it's almost his bedtime. So let's just let's power through. But how how are you doing, Sam? Oh, I'm, I'm I'm doing great. Thank you, Jack. Really, really happy to be back. Uh, really enjoying the vibes and just yeah, really looking forward to a great, great podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it will be another great one. Thank you for coming again. Yeah, thank you for coming it's back. It's my boys. pleasure. Yeah. yeah, I must say, Sam, your your mic out of all of our guests sounds the crispest and the cleanest. So yeah, well, we invite him, man. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> 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 so congrats, it's a tough competition. One. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. So I guess we will start with Jack. What are you oh, saying, man. Jack? Um, so I once wiped my ass with a map in a cafe. <laughs> at, at a cafe? Yeah, I was in a cafe. Wow. Okay. Um, um, instantly I'm thinking, if you're going to wipe your ass with a map anyway, it probably is in a cafe, like a roadside cafe. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. So there's believability there. <laughs> They've always got a, like a, a stack of pamphlet maps already there. They are cafes, ready, yeah. you know. They're well known. Okay. Yeah. So that yeah, that's okay. Okay, so first question: Did was it your map? <laughs> yeah, it was only me in the <laughs> cubicle. <laughs> what, was, what, what, was, what was the rundown? Well, give us the lowdown. So okay, at what uh, point did you end up in this cafe? All right, I don't want to give you all the answers, you know, because you've got to ask, ask questions, but I'll give mm-hmm. you a quick, quick overview. Okay. Um, so I was, I just went to the toilet. I was with my uh, uh, girlfriend at the time <laughs> and um, we're on a holiday and uh, I just went into this toilet and uh, yeah, you know, it's one of those sticky situations that you hate to see, but you always do see it every now and then. There was no toilet oh, yeah. paper. And I didn't check, which I usually do before I do my business. Like, you got to check beforehand because, you know, you want to avoid this kind of situation. So uh, I did that. went to reach over to grab the, the papers. And uh, to my disappointment, there was none. So I looked around. There was like a little ca- cabinet in there as well. So I was like trying to look in there and stuff. My pants down on my ankles. Um, nothing. So I was like, what can I do here? Um, and I had my wallet with me. And uh in my wallet i had a city map of the place that we were <laughs> visiting and i was like oh no well i now thank god i know this place like the back of my hand because i'm not going to need this again <laughs> <laughs> my so, yeah. uh, first question after that one is what city were you visiting <laughs> um uh barcelona Barcelona. Yes. Barcelona. (laughs) (laughs) This is why you brought you back, Sam. Thank you, (laughs) Lisa. You got lined up. (laughs) Um, Barcelona. Okay. And you were okay. And how did you? How did you feel like afterwards? So after you all cleaned up and you came out this cubicle. Now, what did you do with the map? Did you flush it down the toilet or did you put it in there? 
Um, in the bin. I f- I th- I'm pretty sure I flushed it, which obviously That's no terrible. go. Don't, you don't flush. Never do that. That, yeah, don't, number, don't number flush one things. Rule, but don't flush no, you, you put it back in your wallet in case you <laughs> need it. <later. laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you know, but at, at that point, I wasn't thinking about the infrastructure of my favorite Spanish town and city. I was thinking about the infrastructure of my my ass. <laughs> yeah. <your health. laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna feel like an idiot later when you're trying to find the Sagrada Familia and you don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find it because there's just a massive shit stain over where it should be on the map. <laughs> um, but my ex still doesn't know. So if you're listening to this, that happened. That happened. Yeah, wow. I never told her. I kind of just walked out. Walked walked out of that. Walked, walked cubicle, out. Walked out of that cubicle. <laughs> like uh, like it was just a walked regular dancing, regular dancing session. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But when really I hadn't even fully because you can't really do a proper clean job because think about a map right. They're quite laminated and smooth. Yeah, you I was gonna say really, like yeah. so it's not waterproof. That would be the yeah, worst. Yeah, so it was it was a bit of a shit job as well. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, way. <laughs> oh yeah, way. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, wait, good one, man. Yeah, wait. With a map, it, it would crease, wouldn't it, and become yeah. quite sharp edges. Well, I'm a folder. You see, I'm a folder mm. in the to- in the cubicle. I'm a folder in the toilet. I, I fold my was toilet this- roll. Yeah, was but this- toilet paper is nice and soft. Mm, but mm. when you fold it, you haven't really got like definite like definitive mm. edges. Yeah, yeah. That's- but with with the map edges, you could like use it as some kind of scoop or a, a basic <laughs> shovel or something. <laughs> yeah, more like a like one of those little garden shovels. Yeah. Exactly, a trowel. Um, this- no- was this a map? Anything, um, probably cleaner. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Was this one of these maps that like, like a really big one, or was it like a like one of those A4 ones? Were you lucky that it was a big one, a big foldable out one? It was. It was like I'm gonna go. I'm pretty sure when you folded it out, it was probably like A3 size. Okay. Okay. Um, it's more, so it's more than I, pro- I thought. I'm guessing I tore a bit off uh, at a time or something because yeah, it was. You're saying you kept that in your wallet? Yeah, folded up. <laughs> Just in cases. You can fit an A3 in your wallet. Oh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. something. Well, have you tried? There. And also, with with that kind of attitude, that's why you're not getting results. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> how many How many times did you fold it, Jack? How many? Well, you can't fold more than seven times, so it's less than that. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Um, yeah, right, yeah, you got me on that. <laughs> um, did you Did you use all of the map? Did he use a whole A3 map? I mean, how much poo yeah. do you think comes out of this, man? I had to, I had to crack out the map in Madrid as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, what are we thinking then, James? You know what? I, I think, I think that's true. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna obviously ask, ask Dan, the num- my number one fan. But from as soon as you said that, I thought. I can just see that happening. You know, I've been in some unfortunate situations before. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I'm not saying no names because uh, he listens to the podcast, but I know you're listening. I know I know someone that used a poncho to, you know, wipe his bum before. Um, oh, that's worse. I'd say that's quite similar. I mean, no, because ponchos are literally made to be waterproof and that's not yeah. going to do anything. And also mm. they're really thin ponchos, much more thin than, uh, than maps. Yeah. But, um, you know, I can, I can see it happening. Uh, Dan, what, what what do you think? I mean, I'm tempted to towards true as well. I'm mm. I'm struggling at the A3 map in a wallet. Yeah, that's quite that's a big. That's quite thing. a big map. Yeah, yeah. In, in I mean, I can see maps do fold up quite nice, but <laughs> in a wallet, you do, that would usually be back pocket. If I have a map of the city, that's that's yeah, back straight pocket back pocket. Yeah, all the oh. time. No, bag, I, had, I, had my, I already I have my toilet paper in my back pocket, so I couldn't fit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Makes um, sense. But um, no, I'm happy to go with true. No. Yeah. All right. We're saying true then. Yeah, I, I think true. All right. They're saying true. Jack? Yeah, unfortunately, that was, that was true. Um, it was pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> when did you go to Barcelona? Um, I've been there a couple times, actually. That was on my second visit. Um, Last it was, visit. yeah, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> I mean, you, don't, my last. You, you don't get into too much detail. I think, <laughs> I think it was in twenty, like twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen. Did you? Um, no, twenty seventeen. So 2016. I, I always check that there's toilet roll before I do anything. I yeah. normally do as well. I think I was in a rush. I have. I don't think I've ever checked. Really? really? So, well, yeah. I hope you got a map on you next time you don't. You're a man I mean, who I... makes life on the edge. I can yeah. see that. I mean, I get anxiety about a few things, and apparently toilet roll is just not one of them. Well, have you never found yourself in that situation? 
Yeah, like at festivals and stuff, it's like I will walk around the whole festival ground until I find a cubicle with toilet roll. Well, see, your mistake is shitting at festivals. Yeah, <laughs> I just is, hold um, it for five days. Someone call it a superpower how long I can hold a shit yeah, at you a five-day festival. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> it's outrageous. Once, actually, complete unrelated, um, Reading Festival made it five days. On the fifth day, I couldn't hold it anymore. I'd had too many um, tins of um, pork and beans. <laughs> and went to the toilet and I was panicking because I didn't have any toilet roll left. I had like a tiny, tiny bit and I thought, oh, I'll have to go. I'll use this. Get in there, do my business. Next thing you know, ghosty. Oh. Walked out, walked out of that <laughs> toilet feeling like no, an absolute is... champion. <laughs> oh, that's and that's true. I'll give you that one. <laughs> use that on a later episode. <laughs> At Boomtown last year, my, my mate was actually jealous because I was just pooing all the time and he wasn't. And like, every time I came back, he was like, oh, how do you do it? I'm like, man, I'm sorry. Why is he jealous of that? Because like sometimes you just, like you just when you feel like you need to go and then you just can't, that's the worst. That's even worse. It's, it's than not comfortable. You spent the whole of Boomtown just shitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, mate, man, so I wish that was me. <laughs> anyway, we, we're digressing here from <laughs> yeah. what's important. <laughs> All right, so next up we have James. What are you saying, James? So, I have an 11-year-old marshmallow in my room. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so, um, okay, so the story goes that at school, um, uh, there was a task that we had to make some, it was, I think it was, must have been like the first day of school. Um, what year was I in? 11 years ago. Well, if this is the first day uh, of school, yeah. you would have been in year seven. You're, you're going to need to be careful because both me and Jack went to school with you. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, 11 years ago. Well, okay. Oh uh, yeah. Where, whatever age I was 11 years ago, maths. Um, I, yeah, there was, uh, in geography, um, or whatever subject, I think it was geography. Uh, we had to make um, these. I don't even know. It was like we got given. Sounds ridiculous. We got given marshmallows and pasta, and we had to make something out of marshmallows and pasta. Uh, but it was, it was like the pasta, like spaghetti. Um, the classic not, meal. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I think you had to make a, a sculpture. You had to make a structure, uh, and then it was one of those things where you would put it. Uh, like across a table and then you would dangle a weight on it and then whoever made like the strongest structure won basically whoever the structure didn't I think it was like a bridge or whatever whoever's bridge didn't snap won anyway so I just like during this class during this lesson we were like making men like little marshmallow men to go on the bridge as like a representation of like a real life scenario I don't know and then uh, yeah I just kept <laughs> one of I just kept one of the men kept one of the marshmallow men and uh, and still got it in my room Oh man! Interesting. See, okay. See, that's an absolute classic team building activity. So I can, <laughs> that's <laughs> believable off that. the bat. Yeah. Um. Did you? Uh. Did you win this competition? Did you? How? How many um, kilograms did you? Did you marshmallow <laughs> spaghetti yeah, thing I, hold? You know what? I wish. I wish I could remember that. But, but I remember. I remember being pretty proud of myself. So I think. I think we did pretty well. But a full size no, man quite... walked across your bridge. <laughs> it's it's quite difficult to. Like marshmallows and, and spaghetti aren't very strong. So. No, <laughs> no, not. yeah, against everyone's expectations. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what 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 subject class was this? Um, yeah, I think I did. I said geography. It was definitely geography. That's ridiculous. Um, I think no. I, the reason I say geography is because I have a vivid memory of who I was sat with on the table. Um, you can't say. But don't drop names. Loud. I'll have to dub them again. I mean, I can tell you for the story, but yeah, you can dub them if you want. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> right. I don't need before. to. I don't think it adds to the story because we like you can yeah, just make true. it up. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So you remember um, who you're with, and you think it's geography. Okay. Yeah. No, um, it was definitely geography. What? Okay, St Sam. Any questions here? I just feel like making a little marshmallow spaghetti <laughs> man to go on your bridge is such a you thing to do in secondary school. <laughs> like that just really makes sense to me um did you did you win was it was it a good bridge did it fall apart How um i don't I, honestly i don't know if because the whole like session i guess was just team building so i don't know if anyone actually took the whole bit like bridge building bit seriously i think it was more just a matter of like having fun i think that's why we ended up making like marshmallow men because 
we were just more into the whole like messing around sort of having fun kind of thing but mm. i think i think there were de- there were some there were some impressive bridges for sure yeah i see i see okay but that is geography to a t it's like it, it's not about the subject it's about having fun as having a group fun yeah <laughs> yeah and yeah. making good bridges yeah oh, for sure 100 not just in class but with your friends as well those <laughs> connections yeah. you make just really bridging across society together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm um, staring at I'm staring at that marshmallow man right now. Oh, of course you are. Oh, what what color marshmallow? What color marshmallow? Oh yeah. Uh, it was one of those. Um, it wasn't like a white. You don't or need a to recall it. One. You're looking at the marshmallow. <laughs> no, you don't need to think about it. No, because it's it's the like swirly ones, like not like a white or pink uh, one. One of those like swirly, like flump kind yeah. of ones. Flump. Uh, I feel like called? the structure and integrity of a flump marshmallow is not as good as a regular marshmallow, and therefore I wouldn't I would choose disagree. it to make a bridge. Maybe, maybe that's the challenge, though. Would you, Dan? Maybe it's a higher quality brand. Mm, it's softer. More elasticity. They were very stretchy. Yeah, nah. I remember. The, I remember the built the bridges like were bending so much before they actually broke because they were so stretchy. Yeah, there's no weight to a flump though. Like it's just gonna, you know, there's no anchor points for the bridge. I have to Google the flumpers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's been too long. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you um, you made a man out of a flump. <laughs> yeah, I, a I, flump I, man. I, I think I cut I cut it. Well, the thing is, it it was like a flump, <laughs> but I think uh, I I can't remember if we either cut them into little like sections or you monster. Were, we had miniature flumps because the one I have is really small. Um, it's off like, brand, perhaps uh, like two yeah two inches high or something. And I know flumps are quite long, aren't they? So yeah, yeah they're they're pretty big. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a meal right there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's <laughs> a meal. Spaghetti and flump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, um, and why did you keep it? Why have you still got it um, at, I kept, at your I age? I kept it because uh, I, t- I remember taking it home because it was just like a cool year seven thing to do. Just be like, oh, man, look at this marshmallow dude I made in class. Um, and then I think it just turned into this. I'm never going to get rid of that. Like, I, I, it's, on a, it's on a boat in my room. Like, I have like a boat kind of... Uh, thing on in, on my shelf. So I've thought you made in design tech. <laughs> in design tech. <laughs> no, no, that was in physics, bro. <laughs> did you um? Did you take it to university like in Toy Story three? I was. T- you know what? I was tempted, but I remember when I was moving into. Well, when I like was leaving this house to go to uni, and I was lo- like looking at what to take, and I just saw this marshmallow, and it was the dirtiest thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life, and I thought I I don't think I'd want to be known with that at uni. Yeah. How? Is it still soft, or is it like rock hard? Um, it's not. Ro- it's not as rock hard as you think it was. Mm. Would be like, have you, so uh, you got it in front of you now? Yeah. How much to eat it? it well, it's like ab- above me. Uh, I, I wouldn't eat it only because it's now gone so long, and I'm like, I can't eat it. Like, if if it was maybe five years ago, I'd eat it. Uh, not but because now, of the disgusting factor, because of the sentimental value. Yeah, of it. exactly. <laughs> it's, right. I've not, it's, it's it's been in my room with this story, holding on to this story for so long. I can't just end its. It's part of the room. life. Yeah. yeah. You'll have a flump shaped hole in your room. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Um, All right. Yeah. What are we thinking then? Um, Sam, what do you reckon? Tell me what you think. God, I'm really conflicted because I'm, I'm like, you're filling me full with false memories that I was also in this class, <laughs> whereas I'm almost definite I wasn't. But you're making me think about flumps and spaghetti and bridges. Um, <laughs> but I think. Partly because you really had to think about what colour the marshmallow was, even though it is right in front of you, which you just told us. Mm. Um, and I think you're being purposefully vague to make us feel like mm. you are actually thinking about it, when in fact you are a quite a quick liar. So I'm going to call your bluff and call it a lie. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. big calls. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, well, I'm thinking you wouldn't keep it for that long. Um <laughs> and uh, and I can't verify of whether we did it or not because I didn't I didn't join that school until halfway through the year. But I I believe that there's no way you'd keep that out of all the things you could have kept from school. You kept this thing just mm, this flump. <laughs> this flump. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna back my teammate Sam here and say uh, you, he's uh, he's trying to he's trying to come up with something here. I think it's a lie. All right, Jack says you're lying about your flump, James. What do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> my flump story is a hundred percent true. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what the flump? <sighs> true, with true, such conviction. True. Yeah. I, I honestly, when I was saying that, I thought, and you started asking these questions, and then like believing me, I thought 
well, I've just given them a point because it's like it's just too believable. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't everyone got a flump, man? I was thinking too hard for yeah. my own good. Yeah, and yeah, it was. Uh, you can bleep this name out, but for for old times' sake, it was Mister Flump. It was my. He was he was the geography teacher. Oh, we can him? we can oh. keep a last name, and he was a legend. He was a legend, yeah. And of, right. of course, he he'd be the sort of person to just give out flumps and spaghetti and just let everyone do what they want with it. Yeah, and then keep it no, for eleven years. Yeah. No, bleep him out because he's got famous family. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shout out, Mister Blumpy. Oh, it's two bleeps, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have to replace it with the word flump or something. <laughs> Mister Flump. Mr. Flumpington. <laughs> All right, so the score is now 2-0 to James's team. Nice. Oh, so Next up, we have Sam. Sam, what are you saying? Um, when I was 18 years old, I won a hamster in a poker game. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, man, I have so many questions. You won a hamster in a poker game? Yes, I did. Okay, so... My first thing that's come to mind, well, ab- like above all my other questions, is sh- you weren't you weren't betting <laughs> you weren't betting hamsters, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone had a hamster. <laughs> Everyone had a hamster. Until I won this poker game, I did not own a hamster previously. Okay. So you were betting money. You were betting money. So what were you betting money? A, f- a few things were being bet around the table as part of this game. It kind of it's, it definitely started off as money. Then people okay. Started running out of money and having to, <laughs> having to um, bet hamsters. resort to others. Yeah, and you ended up winning, winning, ham- well, like getting a hamster as your end. Wow, that's my hmm. first question is like, did you just accept? Okay, yeah, I'll just suddenly now own a hamster. Like for me, <laughs> that wouldn't be a great win. I mean, I don't get me wrong, I love hamsters, but I wouldn't just wouldn't want to go out with my mates and then just come home with a hamster. That would be <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was, um, as you can imagine, there was definitely alcohol involved. Um, so I don't think I was really thinking about the logistics of owning said hamster. I was just really, really excited to have it because um, it sounded like a really cool thing to win in a poke. Much better than these chips we were playing with. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really think about it too much, but. So I, I won the hand, obviously, and yeah, and then took ownership of the hamster. Was, was that someone's all in? They're like, my hamster's <laughs> going in. <laughs> <laughs> so they, yeah, they, they, they had nothing left. They got rid of all of their money and they really thought, I, I can't even remember if they were bluffing on it. I can't remember the hand. They were just, just sat in like an empty room. The only thing they have left is a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> they, didn't have, they didn't have anything left. They say, I bet, bet you my hamster. I go... I'm pretty sure I went all in and it was to match that and everyone agreed that that was a fair trade. Um, All of my, all of my chips, which were worth nothing for this person's hamster. (laughs) And then I showed my hand, everyone laughed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took ownership of the hamster. Wow. And uh, how long did this hamster last for when, like when you had it? Well, so this was university um, freshers week, actually, in the second week of freshers week. So they hadn't actually bought their hamster to um, to university. Okay. So we kind of just had a gentleman's agreement that this hamster now belonged to me, belonged to me, but resided at the other person's house. So it was and like then a, resided at the other person's joint house. custody but, sort of thing. But when I went to visit, um, I think like the next summer, um, I was had pure attention of the hamster and <laughs> gave it a year's worth of attention. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm. Interesting. I mean, I'm I'm starting to find it a bit more believable now because, yes, he did win the hamster, but he didn't just like steal the hamster. Like he didn't just take it out of the cage. Like, yeah, right. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. There's yeah. allegations of stealing here. I won the hamster <laughs> fairly. All right, <laughs> everyone was in agreement. We had witnesses. I was just picturing like the person you won it off's little sister or something crying their eyes out. Like, oh, where's Bertie gone? Uh, what, what that's so much worse like he bets his little sister's hamster not even <laughs> <laughs> what other stuff was being like better was this like was that hamster probably the most ridiculous thing being bet around or were, yeah, were there so other pretty ridiculous things people were offering out from memory like it started off with chips and then it went into like petty cash like change a bit of money 
Mm. Um, and then went on to sort of like alcohol. Hey, three beers, you know, because everyone had that little crate of beer, which their parents buy them to prop open their door. Um, <laughs> so then it was beers. And then I think some clothes started to come off. And then finally, obviously nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah. And then um, finally it was, it was the hamster. And that was kind of near the end of the game. This guy wanted to win so badly that he offered a hamster. Yeah, well, he had no clothes at this point. It was sitting there naked. <laughs> yeah. He was butt naked, sober because we had all his alcohol. <laughs> he he was having the worst day, the, like the worst day. He was playing so badly at poker that he had to just give up everything, and he couldn't even just like back out. He was just so far in. That is deep. Well, I what, I, what I want to know is, so you said that he didn't have the hamster with him at uni, so he was kind of betting. Uh, in proxy in a way and the thing that he thought to bet from his house is the hamster like not Could the TV anything from the yeah, not like <laughs> some, some nice watch or something well it, 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 it become a bit of a joke because like one of the first things like you know when you you go to like you go to university I don't know if you will have but um, you kind of want to break the ice a little bit and one of the jokes around the group was that one of the first things this guy said to another member of the group was look at my hamster like look how cute it is i'm showing off his hamster <laughs> is that a euphemism so it kind of become a bit of a joke <laughs> a bit of a joke that this was the hamster guy and then now you're the hamster guy <laughs> now I'm the hamster guy. um i think it's died since unfortunately but um, oh. i was i was the hamster guy yeah did it have a name uh yeah i think it was albert, oh, okay. albert. albert. What a name. albert the hamster shout out to albert it's a good name all right, what are we thinking then, James? Um, you know, there's something about the story that just doesn't. Get... No, just... I'm, <laughs> doesn't I'm with, with you, James. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> feeling it to be honest. <laughs> I I wish I was feeling it. Like you know, if it's true, fair play. But I just <laughs> I can't I can't back it. Yeah. Are you, are you, are you on the same page? Same boat there. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. Okay. Well, yeah. We're gonna go. It's a lie. All right, we're saying a lie. Sam, truth or lie? Um, I think being on this podcast is making me realise what a terrible liar I am because that was, in fact, a lie. No. Oh, that was a good lie, man. You did well. I was impressed with that. Mm. That was, it was, but it was just like... A bit I too much. Yeah. Who bets a hamster like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that was true, I want to. I want to be talking to that dude that was betting that hamster. Like, that's yeah. Oh, you don't. He was in tears. It was terrible. <laughs> I felt really bad <laughs> afterwards. That means this. Uh, your game, James. So Dan, this is just a. This is just a victory lap. Oh yeah. Let's do it. It's three straight wins. Let's make this four nil. I am awesome. All right. So final person is. <laughs> Dan James <laughs> What are you saying Dan? Um, I always wear one sock inside out <laughs> uh, which, which foot? It doesn't matter well, How do you decide which one? Well right So you know when you put so socks together I don't know if you guys find this But in putting a sock together Like the one you like put over the top as such that contains a second sock. Mm. That one goes inside out. Yeah, I have noticed this recently. All one's <laughs> always right. inside out. So in doing so, I just simply take that sock off as the inside out sock and I just go with that. And okay, so explain to me how you unravel a coupled pair of socks. <laughs> so with as just... much detail as possible, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's quite hard to think about, really, but I just sort of... Feel free to grab grab a pair, use yeah. it as a visual aid, like, so, refresh your memory. Oh, I take the interior sock <laughs> sticking out the top. I'll hold that with one hand, and I'll use the other one, and I'll just sort of pull it downwards. Ah, not horizontal, but vertical. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, usually pull straight down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so Dan... What happens if if it doesn't if there isn't an inside out one? Do you do you then turn it inside out to make sure you wear one that's inside Good out? Good question. Yeah, it has become a bit of a thing. Like it started off as I say because I couldn't be bothered to change that exterior sock to the right way round. Yeah. But now I almost find it a bit of a ritual getting yeah. ready, and I'm like, mm. yeah, this one this one's got to be out inside Gives out. Gives you a bit of luck during the day or something, you know? Yeah. Do you get some sort of like sick pleasure from like, oh, these people have no idea one of my socks is in there. <laughs> <laughs> All this power I have of those people because they have no idea. 
how many social faux pas I'm, I'm <laughs> it's it's a nice feeling you should try it yourself it's <laughs> all i'm saying i'm gonna try it tomorrow morning have you ever forgotten to do this like how would you remember well, it, it hasn't been that long of me doing this i won't lie it's been maybe just over a year so maybe like 14 15 months so but but every day have you missed a day do you think i mean every i day. i could have done yeah i mean i won't say on you know if i'm getting ready quick how, how do you feel if you've like you know taken your shoes off at the end of the day and realized that you went the whole day without one of your socks being inside out <laughs> would, you, would you be upset would you beat yourself up about it at that point i'll probably look back over my day and i'll think well this only happened because I was, wasn't wearing my <laughs> So it's like a superstitious thing. Yeah, and I'd start thinking okay. about all the bad things that happened that day, completely negating anything good and be like, oh, well, that's because my sock wasn't inside In- out. Interesting. Have you ever put the so- both socks on either inside out or both the right way around and then realized and then take it, t- then took it back off and then put it inside out after already wearing it, after realizing that y- you'd had the system wrong? Oh, what, is in like halfway through the day? Or like yeah, just... yeah. Or, or maybe even just like after 10 minutes, you're like, oh, shit, both my socks are on properly. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I haven't left my room yet and, you know, I've got time, then, yeah, I'll definitely change it. <laughs> yeah, it's a time-consuming, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'm just in too much of a rush to change the socks. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll give you a free, free thing here. This is on me. Oh, I'll yeah. never wear odd socks. They Ooh. can't be odd. What if uh, you get if you get a hole in one pair of socks, will you just throw them both out? I'm quite happy with holy socks. Uh, I'm, oh, yeah, I can't it. do it. God it's so bless. uncomfortable. If if it's on my soul, if it, like you know, right? Well, you got some hot spots for holes, right? I normally mm-hmm. get I normally get one on like the the back, like the heel on the bottom, not normally, and that's yeah. the worst spot because you you put shoes on, you can feel your heel on the bottom. Nah, of your shoes. that's all right. Like, nah, 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 nah. No, that one's okay. It's the toes yeah. that I can't deal with. That's oh, you don't want I'll... a toe sticking oh, out. The toes yeah. pocket, yeah. That's, that's so, terrible. so say your toes sticking out of one foot. Do you then bin both socks? Or I normally keep one sock if it's all right. I'll probably keep the pair as a backup, as a reserve. <laughs> In case it... <laughs> <laughs> there's a day you have no others. Am I the only one here that would literally go insane if I had to wear matching socks every day? Because sometimes I just can't find them. They've disappeared. I'm very like happy to go odd socks. Dan always berates me for wearing odd socks. I wear odd socks quite a bit. Oh, the whole way through oh, school, I pretty much yeah. wore odd socks. But if if they're the same shade, they're going mm. on the go. They're going. Oh, there's, on my ne- feet. there's never been a moment for me where I've like got a pair of socks out and like that it wasn't a pair. Like, I've never, I've never ever experienced like losing a sock. A good way to avoid that. All my socks are pretty much just white long socks. Mm. Yeah, true. That's so boring. That's the way to go. You can mix and match all of them. Yeah, I've got I've got a lot of white socks, but I'm also a pattern guy. I love I love my pattern socks. Mm. I've got some crazy socks. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to odd socks, the maximum I'll allow is you know when you buy like a five pack of let's say black socks and they've got a different coloured heel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I could deal with the two socks from that pack. Okay. But as uh... soon as you're going for, you know, like a black sock with a blue heel and then a thick thick white sock with you know them compression pads you get around <laughs> like a sock. winter ski sock <laughs> yeah yeah when i when i put on my thigh high white socks <laughs> i've got big issues with that yeah i mean that's I pretty good too yeah. yeah i'm not i'm not wearing trainer socks with like thigh high <laughs> <laughs> No, you only wear matching thigh high socks right now. yeah that's it because oh, i have a lot of thigh highs <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh Oh man, uh, Sam, what are you thinking about this? <laughs> I don't know because I don't think I've ever got one of these right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, I'm gonna um, kindly ask you to go first, so I'm not leading the witnesses. I'm yeah. steering the ship on this one. Okay, yeah, totally. Um, well, I feel like I feel like this is ob- obviously very believable from the get go, but um, I don't know if, if if you'd be that bothered by it or not. Um, uh, oh no, I'm thinking about the odd so- odd sock thing here now. But no, we're talking about the inside out sort of thing, aren't we? Mm. Yeah. Uh, we, you fully got us off the rails here. Jeez. <laughs> um, about the uh, inside out thing, that's even weirder, I think. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna. Oh, this is really annoying. If if you guys get a clean run against us today, that's rough. That'd be brilliant. Um, what's the forfeit? What's the forfeit? I've got I've got to wear odd socks for the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, wear odd socks and eat my marshmallow. No, no, not odd socks. One inside out. Join me. Yeah, <laughs> join the cult. Join me. Um, I kind of want to say true, Sam, because um, I feel like it could definitely just become a bit of a morning ritual. Um, and also. Oh, I don't really have many reasons. <laughs> what do you reckon? See, me and my ever sort of incorrect thought process is that I'm thinking what psychopath can wear one inside out and one normal, but then also have the gal to be like, no, they have to match. <laughs> I, to me, that is a thought process that I just cannot get behind. I think my head would explode. That's kind of that's kind of a mismatching um, situation, if you will. Um, but I, I just don't know. I just don't know Dan well enough to to make a judgment on that. Is it uncomfortable wearing one inside out? Do you reckon? No. It can oh, be. Yeah. I will admit, it can be depending on the shoes. So you literally you get over it. Ruin your comfort for this thing. Yeah, but I also wear shoes that are too small for me, so I'm kind of quite used to abusing my feet. Yeah, shoes. one shoe inside out on the other foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm oh Sam, you've kind of been wrong every time though, haven't you? All right. <laughs> okay. I'm a terrible judge of character. All right. All right what gonna, are we saying I'm, then, Jack? I'm gonna I'm gonna no, I'm gonna go with Sam. I'm gonna go with Sam. I'm gonna sure? set it to lie. Final answer? Yes. All right, Dan, Jack is saying a lie. All right, so number one, I do absolutely despise odd socks, and Trent is horrible for this. But sadly, I was lying. I do not wear one inside <laughs> out. Thank yes. God. Yes. We'll take, that we'll is take one. true psychopath behavior. See, I, I just nice. thought you have to take one. You can't, you can't be a both. No. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make sense. You, you did convince me with that statement there, Sam. Fair. Right. I'm officially vindicated from yeah, my terrible yeah. answers. You're allowed back on. You're allowed back on. <laughs> yeah, you're allowed. That was a freebie I gave you as well. I can't believe it. <laughs> that was yeah. good. That was a good one. I couldn't figure that one out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So final score is 3-1 to James's team. Congratulations, James and Dan. You are this week's winner. My first win. Oh, yes. Nicely done. Thank you, Dan. Well done, Thank well you. done. That's a one-all total uh, scoreboard. Yeah. Overall, it's one-all. Yeah, that's correct. Nice. Wow. Oh, is this the um only the second? Yeah, we drew the first yeah, three. The first three were all oh, ties. It's a draw. Yeah. I see. All right, so thank you for joining us this week. I'd like to say a big thank you to our guests for coming back on. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank Join you us very next much. week. Peace. Peace. Bye. Peace. Bye. See ya. Bye. Thank you for listening, guys. This was episode five of the What You Say in podcast. A massive thanks to all two of our guests, and of course, a smaller thanks to Jack and James. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's a crazy, crazy world at the moment. So, you know, if you spent an hour, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, however long, if you've clicked on our podcast, we appreciate you and we see you. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram at what you say in PC. Get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, and uh, let us know what you think of the new format. Um, we're going to keep trying new things like this to see how it works and uh, just need your feedback on it. So uh, see you next time. Bye. 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 What if I was to say I kind of forgot to click record? Did you actually? Ah, I'm joking. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> you really had me going there, Dan. Oh, I see.